Hi friends and welcome to Barefoot in Florida. On this episode, we are going to Casperson Beach. It is also known as Shark Tooth Beach by the locals. And it is the shark tooth capital of the world. This is a great place to find prehistoric shark teeth. And we found a bunch. Um, the beach is located about 25 miles south of Sarasota. It's in the coastal town of Venice. Um, and it's a very, very nice facility. When you get out there, all of the parking is free. I took a picture of this sign um, about the gopher tortoise habitat. If you see here in the picture, you can see it talks about a fine. Um, if you uh, mess with one, just to let you know, they are federally listed as endangered species and as threatened. And um, if there is a violation, you can face up to five years in prison and ten thousand dollar fine. Yeah, so don't don't mess with any of the tortoise. In between the parking facilities, um, there's a lot of nature trails in between, and they are you know, just full of palm trees and beautiful um, you know, natural environments. So it's not all just a bunch of parking. It's like a lot of you know, natural beauty in there as well. I like that it looks like old Florida, and it's very very neat and picked up. So there's not a lot of trash. I wasn't really worried about the kids and this one actually led to where the restrooms were. There's also um, a little park off to the side where the kids can play in this area. Um, so there's a lot of amenities just right near, near the beach um, without being like intrusive onto the beach. It's all yeah. kind of separated out by these little nature trails and you know, lots of natural um, background scenery. As you can see, that parking lot, it was pretty full, but it was still, it was still a nice time on the beach. But these are the restrooms all the way up at the top, and they were very clean. And as you can see, there's uh, restrooms, a pavilion, a playground, a place for kayaking and canoeing. This is where you walk onto the beach, which was absolutely beautiful. Wow, look at that, how beautiful. Jer. What you have on there, Ezra? Snorkel. Why are you wearing that? Um, to look for a shark. The beach itself had a really unique look um, with all of the rocks lining the shoreline. Um, it made for a really very pretty view. Found any yet? What? Did you find any yet? Here we are in the water and we are kind of digging for shark's teeth. I highly recommend bringing a shovel. A lot of people had uh, little strainers and they had big shovels that they could reach underneath the water and there are specific ones. I've seen people do when they're like searching for gold or treasure. Right. You want something that um, has a little bit larger holes than what we had because a lot of the sand is basically just broken up shells and things. Yeah. Um, so like you get the regular sand out, but then there's a lot of large pieces that you actually want to kind of wash away. But bring something with you to work on that because if not, you're going to be diving in the water like I am. You also want to show up around a low tide that's the best time to look for the shark's teeth because the water is further back. We missed it by about a half hour. Yeah, and, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, and the water is all the way up on the rocks in a lot of the areas. So um, apparently you can find them just kind of laying out on the beach if you get there at the right time. Right, I would think it would be earlier in the morning. Um, we didn't get there till 6.30 because I just found a, this place and we decided to take off and go to it. We probably missed a lot of the shark's teeth and the, the cool shells, but we still found a bunch. We just kind of had to dive for them at this point. Which was also fun. <laughs> for you. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah. What happened? Nothing. Did you find one? Uh, 
baby too. There's another one. Sorry. I got one more for after the sunset. <laughs> hey Ezra, come on over here, honey bun. So here are the things that we found. We found a bunch of shark teeth, 12 of them. We found some stingray teeth, and there's one unknown tooth that we uh, that we found. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's pretty big. It's a couple inches long. So if there's any paleontologists out there, let us know if you can identify that. And we were only out there for about an hour and a half, and we found all of that stuff. 